What if we nuked the Mariana Trench? What? 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 Why is this a video? What if we nuked the Mariana Trench? What? Today, we're dropping a big bomb into the deepest part of the ocean. Why? So, Why are we grab doing that? a surfboard and get ready to hang 10 on the waves of a massive nuclear tsunami. <laughs> How would you deliver a nuke to the bottom of the Mariana Trench? Yeah, that's a great question. How would you what do that? What would this underwater explosion be like? Um, like an earthquake, and probably. What kind of destruction would it cause? This is just such an odd question to ask. This is, yeah, this is literally like America. Just fucking blow shit up because I can. Yeah, fuck the Mariana. Hasn't this exact channel done multiple things about the Megalodon being in the Mariana Trench? But then we'd never get to discover the Megalodon because it's in the trench, man. And here's what would happen if we nuked the Mariana Trench. Who is we, by Welcome the way? Is the we deepest... humans? Is we specifically the United States? Who is we? You'll okay. be traveling down 11 kilometers to Challenger Deep, yep. the deepest point of the trench. Sure. Here, you could stack about 30 Empire State Buildings on top of each other before hitting the surface. You'd be among the brave few to venture into these high pressure, pitch black and near freezing waters. Okay. Joining the company of scientists, a naval officer and why you think all scientists naval officers would just agree to nuke the mariana trench and see what happens this is like when five-year-olds play with toys and they just say Ooh, what would happen if we did this this is not this is <laughs> yes for science yeah humans get so bored and in need of development that they decide to just drop a nuclear bomb in the trench to see what happens that is how science works yeah absolutely even Every, every scientific project and research that I've been a part of, they just kind of blow shit up and see what happens. That's that's the scientific method, baby. Filmmaker James Cameron. But you'll be carrying the most precious cargo of all. A nuke? The biggest nuclear bomb ever made. Oh my god. Why? why? If you were really concerned about this, why would you make it the biggest nuclear bomb ever? That seems like a terrible idea. On land. You'd want to figure out how to get it there safely. If really, that would be your concern. How to get it there safely. So you're not concerned about the fact that you're going to be like, that's not concerning you, that you're going to be exploding a nuclear bomb into the Mariana Trench. But what is concerning is we got to make sure we get it there. Can't have it blow up early. A bomb accidentally exploded near the surface? It could be dangerous for many people yeah you could think of it as a massive nuclear tsunami yep waves hundreds of meters high would the waves be radioactive that's actually kind of an interesting question if you had a like a nuclear bomb blow up in the middle of the ocean and obviously it's going to send massive waves towards countries would the waves on the water be radioactive <laughs> imagine getting a radioactive tsunami yeah that's fucked up Let's test that out. See, this is the scientific method. Coming up with a hypothesis, and maybe if I wanted to test it, I could do like a small amount of radioactive something in like water and see how water holds radioactivity. I wouldn't launch a nuke into the ocean. These waves would behave differently than your regular tsunami waves. Yeah, they'd they be would radioactive. Break earlier. That means they'd be smaller and less catastrophic. Wait, why they... would they break earlier if they're literally destroyed by a nuclear bomb? They're literally sent by a nuclear bomb. Why would they be? I don't get it. But I also didn't pay attention in the class that I had on like wave structures and dynamics. So maybe he just knows more than me. To do this, you'd have to protect it from extremely high pressures. You'd want to use a special pressure vessel to transport the bomb. Okay. just like operation so you have to build a vessel capable of holding the largest nuclear bomb ever created all the way to the bottom of the mariana trench just so that you're being very careful just so that you can explode it when it gets down there wigwam but your bomb would be the largest nuke ever created sure more like the tsar bomba this tsar -bomba. nuclear weapon was over three thousand times more powerful than little boy 
the bomb dropped on Nagasaki, and they named it Little it Boy. Much. At the moment of detonation, a bubble of hot steam would expand rapidly. In just a few seconds, it would cover an area of about one kilometer. On the surface, you'd see a massive bulge in the water, but it wouldn't reach. So we just make everything in the Mariana Trench completely extinct. Would it not blow up when it hit the bottom, the water only when it hits the bottom? Well, apparently they're making a very specific pressure chamber so that it cannot possibly blow up when it is going down. It can only blow up when it hits the bottom. This expansion and contraction would continue Habitation for bubble. three or four cycles. This would leave the water turbulent, hot, and mixed with radioactive debris. At least no neighboring coastal cities would have to worry about being wiped out by a tsunami. I like that he says that neighboring countries won't have to worry about it. Yeah, I think they might. I think if you exploded the largest nuclear bomb ever, it would probably create an absurd earthquake as well as a tsunami. But you certainly wouldn't see the effects ending there. The don't think it would cause a hurricane. I don't think it would cause a hurricane. Would any fish survive? Not in the trench, no. There's no fish that can survive a nuclear blast. I think the only thing that can really survive a nuclear blast or the radiation itself is like cockroaches, right? And obviously bacteria. Temperatures from the explosion could create intense hurricanes. And the turbulent waters and radioactive material would have adverse effects on they outlawed bombs of the SARS size. This operation would be illegal by international law. Really? That's what you're concerned about. Not the fact that all scientists in the, in the world have agreed to create the largest nuke ever and just drop it in the trench because why not to see what happens. You're concerned with the legality. I think, I think you, you stopped a little too soon, man. <laughs> Over time, you could see unexpected or surprising effects on the ecosystem near the detonation site. We had there are corals as big as cars after the 23 detonations at the U.S. nuclear testing site on Bikini Atoll, not to mention an abundance of aquatic animal life. But why you could? Why would heavy radiation and a, a destructive, violent, hot blast that causes a cavitation bubble that creates temperatures that nothing can survive? Why would that lead to more aquatic life? That would just lead to the extinction of all the aquatic life around and then recolonization. See mutations of marine life after a while. Maybe this could create a real life Godzilla mo monster. Yeah, yeah. Making everything in the trench extinct will create Godzilla. That makes sense. I'm on board. I think I'm going to be done with that because I, not how science works. Wow.